Hello. Wow, that's very bright sun today. I am not sad about it. I will take it because these winter months in Wisconsin are coming and the sun does not show her face that often. So, oh jeez. Went to Bible study this morning and I still needed like my little name sticker there. Okay. So, all right, let's get crack locked into this video, guys. So, I am going to show in a week what I'm eating with intermittent fasting. I'm planning to fast at least 18 hours, have a six hour eating window, or do 20 hour fast with a four hour eating window. So, and I have some puppies that need to go outside. They've been inside for a while while I've been gone. All right, guys. All right, come on. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's always clutter here, right? Come on. Okay, so here's what's going on. I'm going to take a more gentle approach to health. Not a lazy approach, a gentle approach. Where it means in saying that I'm not going to be so hard on myself when it comes to food. Eating only low fat, high carb, high carb, low fat, or, you know, carnivore, or this and that. I want to eat just healthy, wholesome, wholesome, good foods for my body to replenish it and just to get it into a healthier state. I'm really hoping that weight loss is a major bonus of this with the fasting. Um, I am going to be more intentional about the fasting and really paying attention to my body if it's actually hungry or not. Um, I'm going to be flexible with the days that maybe I do need to eat more or not eat as much and just really focusing on what my body's telling me. So today at the moment, I am fasted yeah. eight hours, 53 seconds of, or 18, not eight. So you can see my, uh, my son left all his perler beads out before school. That was fun. Anyway, so I'm going to be breaking my fast here, I think, pretty soon. Because I can tell that my body is actually hungry. Why am I walking around with you? I'm not. I can tell that my body is actually starting to get hungry. And I want to prepare something really nice. I'm going to stick within a 500 calorie uh, boundary so that it's still like a lot of foods, even like a lot of like low calorie foods, like to really bulk it up, like a really big salad. A lot of vegetables are zero calories, but still have a lot of nutrient. And then add with some protein and some things like that. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like over the next few days. And then I think going forward, seeing how that's going to pan out, that I will start doing weekly weight loss updates. <sighs> I'm excited, a little nervous. Here we go. Okay, friends, this ended up, so I punched everything into my fitness pal, and this comes to 499 calories. I have some left, um, I heated up some leftovers. I have, um, it was ranch chicken, so shredded chicken in the Instant Pot with a bit of ranch and a bit of, um, low fat cream cheese. I got tomato, a bit of red onion. There's cucumber in here somewhere. There it is. And then the bed of greens there. And then I have a zevia. So I'm going to enjoy that. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. I always put a little bit of salt on my tomato. Anybody else? This is a pretty big plate too. I mean, like if you look at, well, the ink is not very great, but I mean, this is a lot of food. So and if I'm still like a little bit hungry afterwards, I might have a muffin or a little cup of fruit to go with that. And then that'll be my meal until dinner time. All right, I decided I am gonna go with the muffin. So I made some gluten-free muffin, muffins, oh my goodness, muffins for my Bible study this morning and brought those along and they had some left over. And so I'm gonna add that to my lunch hour. So I figured at this point, I'm probably doing about 600 calories, but that kind of evens it out for later. So instead of doing like a mid-afternoon snack, about 200 some calories, I'll just add on that leftover snack calorie count to that later, if that makes any sense. Something like that. So there we go. I am really excited about this. Okay, guys, for dinner, I made these fajita crunch wraps. I used a low carb tortilla. It's gonna be so good. Some veggies here for the sides, salsa, green chilies, and some sauce. 
Oh, it's gonna be so good. Hello friends, day two, and I'm currently at 17 hours of fasted. I am feeling a little hungry today. I don't know if maybe I need to do two meals today, just to kind of feel like having a grasp on that. I don't know, grasp on the hunger, right? I don't know if I should push through yet or just, I don't know. So anyway, um, here's what's going on. I did a grocery shop, got all that organized, put away, thank goodness, because sometimes it takes a lot of time. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and keep myself busy for a little bit and I will break my fast maybe around the 20 hour mark because like what time is it? It's 1030 now. So if I can break my fast more like noon, that would probably be good. So we'll see. I've been watching so many videos with um, Jackie from Intermittent Fasting Foodie. She has so much great information, guys. Holy smokes. Like, she's just a plethora of knowledge. So, uh, yeah. So maybe I will take some time and just enjoy that for a bit and just what she has to offer. So, all right, let's carry on. Okay, guys, I have reached noon o'clock. I done it, I kept myself busy. I put some teriyaki chicken in the crock pot or my Instant Pot. So getting that going and then uh, I'm doing all sorts of cooking and I'll be cleaning that up later. But um, I'm gonna show you what I'm breaking my fast with. So it's from last night. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat the salad first. I have some lovely tomato. I'm gonna put on some like salsa, jalapenos, got some olives, cucumber, all that stuff, maybe with a little bit of ranch. And that's what I'm going to start off with, something healthy and just lots of vitamins, minerals, all that kind of thing. Then we have this leftover. This is made with low carb wraps and there is chicken and cheese and a light amount of beans and green chilies and stuff in there. And that is how I'm going to break my fast today. All right, rolling on to the next day here, guys. Running my crazies at the dog park. So, life is good. Oh, I'm feeling really, really good. I forgot to mention yesterday, between my two main meals, I did have a snack. I had some, um, a few slices of cheese, like from a block of cheese, and some summer sausage, and I had a couple of squares of Girardelli chocolate. So, but I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling deprived at all. I'm enjoying eating some, um, some healthy carbs. And um, I feel like I'm already kind of noticing a difference in that. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so we uh, live by a lot of farms. Shocker, right? Wisconsin. And <laughs> you could hear a cow like just um voicing her opinion and it's she's funny she's like, and my dogs are like you know doing the head tilt so i'm gonna put some shades on here oops i'm dropping them first all right so yeah i'm just going for a walk uh what am i at i don't even know what my fasting window is at right now but i ate dinner early last night because i knew it was going to be a really busy night i had to get to kid the kids to youth group and stuff like that and I think I ended eating at like 4.30 or something like that. I know. I know. It's stupid early, but it is what it is. So, but the thing is, I didn't feel hungry after a while. Like, I was okay for the rest of the night. I'm still fine now. I had a good meal. And I still don't feel that I'm hungry. Like, I'm listening to my stomach. And it's not asking for food. I definitely feel like I need, um, I don't know, I was feeling like a little nauseous. Maybe I just need some electrolytes or something. I don't know. So, but I had some water, had a little bit of coffee this morning. It might've been the coffee. I wonder if that was it. So yeah, but anyway, so we're still going strong. I plan, I plan to break my fast at like 12 o'clock, 1230. So, and I think I might do 
do a four to six hour window today, but I will update you on that later because I don't know what, where I'm quite at yet for time. So, all right, see you then. All right, guys, back home. Dogs had an awesome run. It's after 10 o'clock in the morning and they want to go back outside again for some reason. We've been out there for a while. Go on. Go on. Anyway, so yeah, where are we at? Let's see where I'm at here. I'm at 17 hours, 46 minutes for fasting. And I'm actually feeling like really hungry, hungry. And I think what I'm going to do though is um, make it up to the 18 hour mark and then just have a longer eating window today. So that's fine though, right? Cause that's nice to have that flexibility. So I'm okay with that. I'm not sad about it. So I'm gonna just do some food prep here with some veggies and dip. And then I have some leftover um, teriyaki chicken and broccoli from last night. And I'm gonna serve that over some a miracle rice. All right guys, I hit the fast here. I'm gonna click end fast. And we'll chow. Okay, so I have leftovers from last night on top of my low carb rice, if you will. I put a little bit of avocado on there. And then I have some of this mango habanero sauce. It is so good. I definitely use this one a lot. And I'm gonna enjoy some peppers and some dip. I know, not the most glamorous looking, but this is just real life, right? So, and then I am determined to drink a lot of water today. So, oh. Let's break this beautiful fast. Here we go. All right, guys, I'll see you at snack. All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. I grabbed like a handful of grapes on my way out here. Nothing crazy. Oh, hang on. Okay, so I had my grapes, nothing crazy, probably about a half cup worth. And I'm going to head out run a couple errands before picking up my big kids. I'm going to grab myself a coffee and get some creamer because that's going to be delicious. And that's going to be part of my snack altogether between the grapes and the coffee. And then tonight, I think we're going to do something, some uh, pizza, something quick on the go. Um, there is an event kind of going on tonight with one of the sports. But as I've mentioned before, we have some gluten-free kiddos. And so we are going to eat at home. And I thought if I just grabbed a gluten-free pizza, I have some regular ones in the freezer and I'll do something similar for myself, maybe with a low carb wrap. We'll see. Like maybe do low carb wrap pizza. You get the idea. I th let's get the coffee. All right guys, so here's how it went down. I went in to get my gluten for pizza and they have a caribou coffee in there. So I just went with the caribou coffee. I have points or whatever. Got myself a free coffee. Can't go wrong. And then I added creamer because creamer. Yeah. Just plain cream. I think it's more like half and half because it's tasting a bit light. But yeah, super good. I got a light roast creamer and now I'm ready to go run more errands. Let's go. Caffeinated. All right, guys. So I was feeling actually really, really hungry. The grapes and the coffee weren't going to work like it has in the past. And that's okay for today. It's okay for today. So I had to swing in the Dollar Tree and get a couple things and I grabbed myself like a little single serve pack of peanuts and I scarfed that down because that was necessary. I was like, I don't want something. I need something that's like protein, savory, and I didn't really want pork rinds or things like that. And I was like, that will do. So I'm satisfied with that. So, man. I'm doing okay, but I feel like there are going to be days and that's normal, right? So it's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to go enjoy my coffee now and read a book and wait for my kids and I'll see you at dinner time. All right, guys, I'm going to break my fast now for my snack. I'm going to start my dinner with a big salad, a little bit of Caesar, not too much dressing, but I got red onion, pepper, avocado, mushrooms. I always like to do like chop these up at the beginning of the week. So I just have them on hand. It's super easy. And then at Aldi, they were selling these packs of pulled chicken or pork. So I pick it up one of those and I'm going to do, put some of that in my salad. 
And then when I'm done with this, I'll show you what else I'm going to eat. Okay guys, I know it may not be easy to tell, but these are smaller pieces. I'm gonna have just probably like these two small ones and that will conclude my dinner. Okay guys, the Udi's brand gluten-free pizza is so delicious. Like the crust actually gets crunchy. Listen. I'm sorry if that really bothers you. If you're one of those people that doesn't like to hear people chew. But future reference, so good. You won't be sad. I think even non like regular people or, or, people who can eat all the glutens would appreciate this pizza still. So don't miss out. So good. Mm, so good. Okay guys, so for today's uh fasting shenanigans, I'm starting my next fast, 5.05 p.m. I should be ready to have to go ahead to eat tomorrow, which is going to be Friday, at 1.05 p.m., which is great. Because le yesterday, you know, I ended my fast at like 4, 4.30. No. When did I end my fast? I can't remember. Anyway, I'll go, maybe I'll write it back in here. But I was like, so my window, I don't know. It, it was going to end up being all wonky, and I was like, well, if I can try and make it to like one o'clock, 12, one o'clock, then I feel like it's more of a normal day the way I fasted. So that was my hope for this time. Anybody else have a super whiny dog? Like, good Lord, it's whining all the time. Like, I don't know what your problem is. Just having a cow. Anyway, all right. So that's end of, the end of this day. My salad was so good. Oh my gosh. I'm a sucker for a salad. Got to put tons of flavor in there, all the vegetables. Oh, so good. All right. Let's get the eating started. Got to clean up. I'm going to take my kids bowling. Good fashion, old fashioned American fun. So great. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. It's a new day. All right. I'm keeping myself busy today, running some errands, going to Target. Maybe Goodwill, we gotta figure out some Halloween costume stuff. I am gonna make it to noon today. It's already 9, 10 a.m. And yeah, I'll break my fast with something absolutely delicious because go big or go home today. It's Friday, fry yay. <laughs> All right, but first, coffee. Okay guys, I'm finally home. I am spent. I went to several different stores, had to buy for birthday parties and pumpkin carving party tomorrow and had to get the pumpkins as well as that. And I'm like, my head is spinning. My husband is home today. And I said, hey, let's do lunch together because life is busy and all that stuff. So I stopped and got some sushi for us so we can eat at home. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So we are going to enjoy that and enjoy some time together. And I'm so breaking my fast with this because I cannot wait. Maybe I'll flip the camera around and show you what I got. I got a voodoo roll. Which one's this? Volcano, tempura shrimp. I got us some rolls here, just some shrimp rolls. And then the seaweed salad I really like, but my husband, he does not like this, but that is fine. And I'm gonna serve myself up a salad to go with this, probably with some avocado and some fruit, and that is going to be my lunch. I'm not ready yet to break my fast. Probably, um, it's 11.25 now. So if I can hold off just a little bit longer, even if I don't make it to noon, I'm still okay with that at this point, so. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, let's dig in. Guys, for dinner, I am gonna be making like a macaroni, I think it's like a, was it like a cheeseburger, mac, casserole kind of thing. In the instant pot so i have a pound of ground beef some venison and i'm gonna be whipping everything up in here today i'm gonna get this uh saute going so i'm gonna throw in some red onion not loads but just enough to get the fragrances and flavors going with some garlic i'm gonna brown those up and then i will add all of the well, I'll just add the rest of the recipe in the description box below so that you guys can make it yourself. It's going to be really good. I will be using gluten-free noodles and having some kind of a more low-carb option for myself. But yeah, it's going to be great for this fall day. I'm excited. Okay, guys, look at that. I'm over 18 hours. 
I'm going to wait. Whoops. I can tap back. I'm going to wait until we hit the 30, right? The 18 hours, 30 minutes. Boom. And I will end my fast. It's so good. Here we go. What up, guys? Okay. It has been five hours since my last meal. I did have kind of a snack in between. I had some coffee, like iced, the big iced coffee and a Zevia. So that was nice. Pretty little calorie, something with a hint of flavor to kind of get me through. I feel like for the most part that like, Vienna. that I don't actually need something to munch on. Like I'm not actually hungry, it's just something to do. I don't know, but anyway. So I'm gonna kick off my pre-dinner dinner with a salad, like a big salad, a big thing of veggies. And then I'm gonna have some of this cheeseburger mac casserole thing that I made. It smells amazing. Okay guys, so here's my salad that I'm starting off with. I added some cucumber, a little bit of Parmesan, red bell pepper, and some red onion. I'm gonna start with that first. All right, y'all, dinner is packed away. I'm feeling really good. I've had a decent amount of food today. And I think when I, start, I stopped my eating, my feeding window, <laughs> I started my fasting window about a half hour, like six, no, an hour ago, 5.30. We had some um, friends pop over. And so that, yeah, that's where that started, so. It's all good, right? So anyway, tomorrow there is a big Halloween event with some neighbors. We're gonna be carving pumpkins and there's gonna be a lot of food and stuff like that. So I would like to make tomorrow an OMAD. And then this way I feel like I can enjoy a bunch of different foods and stuff like that, have a bit more flexibility and then just really cut into a good, good amount of uh, fasting time so we'll see how that goes um I am going to be making like a keto like apple crisp or like a peach cobbler kind of a thing and I am going to be bringing like some low carb options to the party just so that I can still have some kind of like have your cake and eat it too sort of thing because I think that's important to still keep things like a little in check and then you know where I'm going with this? Okay. So anyway, we'll see you. Is it for day five already? <sighs> That's Riley. <laughs> you cute. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, here we go. It is almost 1215 the next day. And things are good. I've actually not felt hungry at all. Um, I've not been tempted to eat anything or whatever. And I, remember, I recall thinking earlier in the day, I've been up since about six o'clock with a child and I just sat there thinking like, how weird is this that I, that I don't feel the need to eat anything? Super strange, interesting, but strange, you know what I mean? So, and we're going to this pumpkin carving, like hall, hall festival, fall festival tonight, like at a friend's house. And of course I'm bringing dishes to pass. So I made like a fruit salsa. I made a peach cobbler and some brownies, like a bunch of different stuff. And I've not felt the need or the urge to eat any of it, even like the batter or anything like that. I've got pumpkin muffins that are going in the oven right now um, and stuff like that. And I've just not felt the need or want to do that. And normally I have a big problem with sweets. Um, just like wanting, like, like if I were to have a taste of it, then I just want all of it. Like I, in the past, I've not really had a good sense of self-control. And so this has been an interesting, um, experience, even if it's been like keto, sugars, sweeteners, whatever else, I couldn't have really kick the habit. People would say like, Oh, like I don't have the need or want for sugar. And I was going, really? Cause I do even after three years, like, <laughs> Anyway, so here we are. Anyway, life is really good. Just been drinking water, clean fasting, all that kind of stuff. And actually a cup of tea sounds really nice. It's a beautiful fall day. It is warm and sunny and just a beautiful breeze. 
kids are outside doing their things and uh, like life is good. So not sad about it. So anyway, I am just going to continue on doing my thing here. And I think tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a way in to see what my life or like how, <clears throat> how my body has changed a bit over the past week of doing this sort of way of using intermittent fasting. So using the intermittent fasting as a tool, it looked weird. And then um, ex um, doing like extended fasts and then not really focusing on low carb keto, but just eating whole good, whole foods, good foods. Um, I've not had really anything from a package or anything like that, no bars or whatever else. Um, and I have added in some things like some rice and whatever else I've seen, like I've had sushi, I had a stir fry, and even though I did some low carb noodles, I actually added in like a tiny scoop of white rice, and I think it was about more like a third cup size. Um, and I, what I've really noticed too is that over the years, I've actually developed this fear of carbohydrates, and which I know like sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous to have a fear of foods, but I feel like I kind of just developed this mentality that like carbs are super bad for me and that they are just the enemy and this and that. And it's like, well, no, keto was a tool to help me get going on the right path. Carbs are not bad. Um, just like anything else, you just have to keep it all in check, right? And to eat them the right way. So <sighs> diet culture just stinks <laughs> in that sense like they're great for tools but we need to we need to keep learning and developing and um transforming and transitioning through all that too so anyway enough of my little soapbox spiel toward you i'm gonna finish making my kiddos some lunch and yeah i'm gonna have a cup of tea I'll see you in a bit. All right, friends. So I broke my fast at 19 hours, six minutes with the salad kind of concoction made out of chicken and some so like red bell pepper and cucumber and onion. And I put some everything but the bagel seasoning on it. It was really nice and fresh and clean. I'm going to have some of these a little bit of raspberries. It's about a quarter or no, eighth of a cup. And then um, I had a pumpkin muffin that I made earlier, a smaller one, because, well, for one thing, it does have healthy carbohydrates. It's no sugar and gluten-free and all the things, and it's a perfect amount of little something extra to feel hearty and uh, fullness.